okay let me show uh, one scenario or error how to solve it okay it's one minute video i am going to show now so just imagine you are going to create a purchase order user is going to create a purchase order so the referring the older purchase order and creating a new view okay so i'm just trying to copy the previous purchase order and line item number okay so just imagine if there is a pricing procedure which is customized okay so how to see that pricing procedure here customized uh, pricing procedure clicking on the analysis okay in the analysis you can see this new pricing procedure is got triggered because of some condition so that i will show you where exactly this uh, setup is done so why this zz0000 is picking up so this system is showing like pricing error mandatory condition is missing okay this is a error message this is a condition is missing how this condition is made as mandatory right without this uh, condition type we cannot save the po so what i'll do is i'll just first add uh, other condition uh, type is like double z double zero okay let's just enter 10 euro for this product okay but still it is asking please enter required condition okay so here so user is not able to understand once they enter zz00 that before error is not showing so how to solve this simple so here you can see there are many entries are there which is item level right okay so you you will not know about which one to be entered zza0 or zzc0 there are many right so simple as a consultant what to do is like you to go back to the setting okay so where to go you should get, get into the so this screen this is the calculation schema setup for the particular procedure double z double z double zero double zero here you can see the column called required so here you can see the zf r1 is managed as a entered as a required entry without this you cannot save the purchase order user should enter then only it is possible okay so here if you come back okay so this is the previous view now i'm going to take this particular error one okay see if i check it right if i check it so it is showing an error before still enter required condition so what i'll do i'll just enter respective conditions here okay which is zfr1 which is required once you enter it so then this error will disappear so this kind of issue will be like simple you can solve it without fixing any configuration or any uh, mass data everything is already there but user is not able to understand what exactly he or she has to do in this screen so this got solved and then you can ask them to save the po then you can close the instant that's it and i want to add additional information like how this pricing procedure got triggered as a double z double z double z right so simple so you just check here what are all the informations are entered here you can see here organization data is what tp1 purchase organization is tp1 this is a vendor okay simple i'll get this information okay so this is the purchase organization okay this is a vendor and this tp1 is purchase organization so I'll tell you whether it is a vendor specific pricing procedure or a purchase organization specific pricing procedure. I'll explain in the screen. Okay. Just you go back here. Okay. There is an option in this define schema determination. This is the area where you should check for the particular pricing purchase order. So you have to search with schema group, purchasing schema group and schema group for the supplier. But here, if you scroll down, so you can find ZZ, right? So somewhere you can find double Z, double zero. Come down. Okay, see here. Double Z, double zero, double zero is a pricing procedure where you can see schema group is maintained as double Z. Okay, schema group for the vendor. And schema group for the this is called supplier. Now in HANA system, you can see supplier instead of vendor. Supplier we are calling in HANA system. Then here it is Z001. 
okay this is the purchase organization schema okay simple now how this is managed if you come back define part anyway this all uh, maintain define the uh, group, group for suppliers here it is maintained as uh, this one uh, zz so zz is maintained already uh, created here then I, that one may maintain to through the determination okay now for the purchase organization you can see how this is linked example this is a schema purchasing group organization right simple this is a schema one okay this is definition part if i search here this is defined okay new schema group for purchase organization how this assign assignment will be done here okay here you are going to come and check the purchase organization tp1 tp1 here and then you can see this is the assignment simple how to see this uh, with respect to vendor master double click on this okay okay this is uh, bp directly going to bp because mk03 is obsolete purchase organization level just double click on that it is not going to the direct to that anyway i'll just copy this and i'll go to bp So here I can enter okay, business partner. Here I can say supplier. Okay, this is a supplier, global enterprises, supplier details. And here you should check the purchase organization, right? Sorry, I have to come back. No. Yes, BP supplier enter. You can see this. So in the purchasing organization level, right? That schema will be maintained, right? Okay. So that we have to check. So this is the business partner. Okay. Uh, triple zero triple zero on the business partner general. You have to get into the purchase organization level, right? So which will be the purchase organization, we'll try this. Okay, here it is asking for the purchase organization. So this is the purchase organization TP1. So I just entered uh, purchase organization, it picked up automatically, right? This is already maintained. So here you can find the schema group. So the similar like, same like, uh, 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 like ECC only. Like if you get into the partner function or this is the partner function, it is there. Let me get into additional purchase organization. There will be a schema group here, purchasing data. Here in the bottom, maybe I just scroll down. Okay, so in the ECC, you can see in the in the top only, but in the HANA system, you can find under the uh, additional purchasing data area, you can find the schema group supplier ZZ which I mentioned here, ZZ is the schema because of this maintenance of this uh, vendor master level and purchase organization level, right? So ZZ00 is picking up. If I remove this, okay? And if I remove uh, purchase organization level schema also, then it will pick up the standard one, which is RM0000 like that. Thank you.